here we are, the 15th of November, a wintry day, but we're in such a beautiful park. And we've all known that this is a very special place because it's been transformative. It's not only been transformative for this area, but for the city of Birmingham and this entire metropolitan area, all people talk about is how wonderful Railroad Park is. And that is due to the hard work and efforts that everyone has put into making this park something very, very special. Now, I, I, I got enough gray hairs to remember when we used to have the old Dixie Rail Car uh, Club over here on the site and they would work on cars and they'd have parts everywhere. And then we started thinking, what could we do in this area? Well, the first thing was start trying to assemble the property, bringing the property together and then have long range looks. We brought in some people to talk about what could be done in this area. And they said, well, you could do some type of park or some, something recreational centered around trains. But it languished there, it languished. And it wasn't until the private sector bought into the idea that hey, let's get together and see what we can do just to create a little something that we all can be proud of over here on the south side of the railroad tracks. And then people started coming together, coming up with ideas, bringing in consultants to talk about what, what is it that we can do to make this place special. And Giles, I remember one Sunday morning when we met, trying to overcome some, some issues that we had. And we were able to do that, to, to get things moving forward. And then other little problems popped up. But every time a little problem popped up, there was somebody there to knock it back down. And we kept moving forward, put it, putting the monies together, both public and private. And now we're here today. We're here today to say thank you to the Urban Land Institute for recognizing something that we already knew that this place is something special. A lot of love went into it. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into it. I say blood because I got a splinter on one of the buildings over there. So that's my blood, OK. Uh, but a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into making this part a great facility. And when you drive by here and you see everybody, and when I say everybody, I mean everybody enjoying the park from all over this area. I talked to a couple from Walker County that drove in to use the park. I talked to another group from Irondale, people from Bessemer and Fairfield, people come from all over the region, and it's a great mingling place. And I remember one day, uh, there's a gentleman that bring out the, the drums and the tom-toms, and we had a circle over there, and it was just amazing to see 30 or 40 people in a circle beating on a drum, becoming one in harmony. And that's what this park does. It brings us all together, one in harmony. So Farron, I want to thank you on behalf of the city of Birmingham and everyone for bestowing this great honor. It was an honor that we were in competition with other places, New York, you know, usually we lose out to New York and California, places like that, but not today, not today. So give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Jonathan, here we are, Railroad Park, big payoff, major reward, you know. Um, this just shows, shows that what we've done here is one of the best parks, not just in Birmingham, but really in the entire country and in, in some parts of the world. Yeah. Well, I, the, the most important thing and the amazing thing about it is is not just that we were able to accomplish this in the city of Birmingham, but by being able to accomplish this, we're sparking economic development right down the street across, across from the park, as well as we're bringing several uh, thousands of people out here every year from all walks of life to come out and enjoy this park. And so that's the most important thing that we can and should not forget and remember that it's for the citizens of not just the city of Birmingham, but the entire uh, central Alabama and really the citizens of the state of Alabama and and it's and and Railroad Park is another shining example of what we can do when we come together and form a public private partnership with not just the city but also the corporations giving to this effort to make railroad parks a success. You know, it really is a quality of life issue with the park first, uh, the, the ballpark that's coming in now. Uh, you got people out here walking, running, you got people coming out spending time with their families, you got people coming out here and working out of these joint ventures. What does that mean for the community? You really are helping to build a, a healthier Birmingham with this. Yeah, well that's that's the whole point. I mean we have development going all the way from one end of the park to the other right across the street and for several blocks on either side uh, we have the plan intermodal facility just a block over over the on the other side of the railroad track so it, it really speaks to the city making the proper type of investments in 
venues such as this and others even with the baseball stadium and that allows us to develop the type of synergy that we need in order to continue to grow the city's economic base. Thank you so much, John.